Hello everyone, welcome back to Amrita Academy and today I'm back with another video, a very informative and innovative one. So this is going to be about gold nanoparticles for cancer therapy. So in this video, we're going to be talking in detail about what are these gold nanoparticles, how are they useful and very much effective than traditional methods to cure the cancer and how are they also useful for the cancer patients without giving any side effects. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So before knowing about what are the gold nanoparticles, it is important that we know a little more about this cancer. So we all know that cancer is a very dangerous disease, killing uh, lives of number of people now. Uh, so cancer is one such disease that grows in the cell of the body uncontrollably and then it spreads to different organs in the body. And if you ask how, we all know how cells multiply, right? With the cell division. So the new cells arise and that's how within this much of time it can spread through all organs of the body and how to cure cancer we have two listed there the chemotherapy and radiation so when this chemotherapy takes place the individuals going uh, through the chemotherapy uh, have these symptoms such as the nausea vomiting loss of appetite constipation diarrhea and they also have fever fatigue dullness and all of that so there are also side effects due to the chemotherapy one is the most common one is the alopecia this is the medical condition due to which the hair falls out of the uh, patients that are undergoing the chemotherapy here is one quote for all the cancer patients out there when the world says give up hope whispers try one more time so more power to all the cancer patients out there so we'll talk about the hope so here's the hope the nanotechnology based de drug delivery system so here you can see a nano length uh, scale size. So at 10 power minus 1 we have a water molecule, at 10 power 4 we have a white blood cell and at 10 we have nano devices, nano pores and dentimers. So what is the nanotechnology? Is It is a science based on which deals about the processes that occur at the molecular level and of the nano length scale size that has been shown here. So these nanoparticles are the ultra fine particles that are between 1 to 100 nanometers. So these nanoparticles as drug delivery systems uh, enable a unique approach for the cancer treatment. So these nanoparticles have magnetic, optical, structural, chemical properties that set them, that set them apart from the bulk solids and uh, with the potential applications in medicines. So we'll be talking about the applications in the next slide. So gold uh, nanoparticles exhibit a combination of physical, chemical and optical and electronic particles. So these uh, gold nanoparticles play a multifunctional role. So these deliver the image and diagnosis diseases. They deliver therapeutic agents and uh, administer uh, electromagnetic radiation therapies. So why are these gold nanoparticles emerging as promising agents for cancer therapy? This is because uh, they, the, uh, the gold nanoparticle uses no uh, toxic chemicals also, there are no side effects like alopecia and all of these have been reduced. So there are no side effects plus there is no radiation. Also, these are beneficial in the diagnosis of cancer because of two properties. One is the photophysical property and the other one is the optical property. And uh, yeah, and one more advantage of these gold nanoparticles is that they can work on any soft tissue tumors such as the brain, the skin, the breast, prostate, uh, head, neck, cervix. So all of these uh, uh, organs they can work on and these gold nanoparticles are designed in a way to convert the light into heat, blasting away the surrounding cancerous tissue. So the gold nanoparticles are clusters of gold atoms up to 100 nanometers in diameter and there are very ultra fine particles uh, that are small enough to scatter the visible light and the mass gold reflects light and they are deep red to black in solution color depends upon the size of the nanoparticles. And the surface plasma resonance in the term used by nanotechnologists in bi biosensing. About the characteristics of gold nanoparticles. So these gold nanoparticles are chemically inert. They have a higher biological compatibility. And uh, they provide microscopic probes for the study of cancer cell. And uh, they, they accumulate in the cancerous cell and show the cytotoxic effect. And they have a high stability due to the gold sulfur bonds. So these characteristics of the gold nanoparticles have led to their advantages and therefore are useful in the diagnosis of cancer. Talking about the appearance of gold nanoparticles on binding with the cancer cells. So firstly, by adding the conjugated nanoparticles to the solution to healthy cells and cancerous cells and 
focusing it and with the microscope shining cancerous cells are absorbed so you can see how it is done so blood and density medium centrifuge and then we have the low density cells and the nanoparticles are added and it soon acts like uh, wash defection laser and ctc's and the normal uh, white blood cells so how are these designed for photodermal therapy so the key features are the wavelength of maximal maximal absorption and uh, the absorption cross section and the size of the particle so in these three features it is uh, depending so as we all know gold is a good conductor of heat and gold nanoparticles are able to be heated up by radio frequency so the heated nanoparticle would in turn heat the cancer cell and makes it destroyed so we'll take a look at the precursor stabilizer and the reducing agent the precursor is the HAUCl4 the chlorooric acid and uh, other gold salts the stabilizer is the carboxylates phosphines amines thiols and polymers the reducing agent is the citrate ascorbic acid and the borohydrides so the first method is the terkevic method so firstly we'll take small amounts of hot chlorooric acid and it is reacted with small amounts of sodium citrate solution so this uh, citrate acts as both reducing agent and the capping agent therefore it will form a colloidal gold so <clears throat> and these monodispersed gold nanophores are produced and the size of these nanophores are controlled by the varying citrate or the gold ratio and though there are two major limitations of this method one is that the low yield and the other one is the restriction of using water as the solvent for this a brisk method so this one is uh, used to produce nano gold particles uh, in organic liquids which are not normally like not mixable with water so if you take toluene so this is a clear and colorless liquid that becomes vapor when it is exposed to air so this method involves the reaction of chlorooric acid which i have taken earlier with the tetraoctyl ammonium bromide which is toab uh, solution in the toluene and sodium borohydrate as an anticoagulant and a reducing agent respectively so we can uh, take a look at the process how it is done next one is the smarten method so the naked gold uh, nanoparticles are produced in water by reducing the chlorooric acid with nabh4 even without any other stabilizer like we have used the stabilizer earlier like citrate gold nanoparticles are stably dispersed so the key to stabilize the chlorooric acid and nabh4 in the uh, aqueous stock with stock solutions with hcl or the hydrochloric acid and uh, naoh sodium hydroxide uh, for less than 3 months and less than 3 hours respectively so the mechanism of these is that the uh, the gold nanoparticles gnps have been engineered such that the, their plasma resonance is turned into the nearest wavelengths which allows them to absorb and convert energy to heat this point we have also already covered in the characteristics of the gold nanoparticles so this leads to the hyperthermic temperatures of the surrounding media and as a result these gold nanoparticles have received increased attention for localized administration of hyperthermia for the cancer cells ablation and this approach is currently in its earlier clinical trials comparing the traditional treatment and the nanotechnology treatment so if you take a look at the left side the traditional treatment the green cells represent the cancer cells and the pink ones are the non cancerous cells so the drugs are being injected and if you take a look at the bottom image the cancer cells are being dead because of the drugs and the non cancerous cells are also being uh, affected because of these drugs and their side effects now if we take a look at the right side the nanotechnology treatment on the cancer cells the nano devices are being uh, used and these cancer cells are being dead also the intact non cancerous cells are not being affected because there are no side effects and no toxins the characterization of the gold nanoparticles the first one is the uv vis spectroscopy the the formation of the gold nanoparticles was followed by the scanning the uh, solution containing gold nanoparticles at the wavelength of 400 to 700 nanometers the second one is the transmission electron microscopy tem and the analysis of the synthesized gold nanoparticles was carried out on the film coated rock of the nanoparticles employing the transmission electron microscopy so the applications of this so the gold nanoparticles for the delivery of proteins peptides and nucleic acid medical imaging diseases can be diagnosed uh, through the defection of the biomolecule 
uh, and the characteristic to a specific disease type and stage also and the detection of tumor is functionalization of the nanoparticle with an antibody specific to the tumor antigens and they also detect the nanoparticle by some spectroscopic technique and the selective photodermal cancer therapy so what is its progress in today's world so organogold compounds has been prepared that are sufficiently stable under the physiological conditions and are promising candidates for pharmacological testing as cytotoxic agent and the goal, as we all know that the gold is highly resistant to bacteria and it can be used to prevent the growth in infections and the gold nanoparticles are therapeutic agents and are used in treatments of uh, rheumatic or uh, rheumatoid diseases so one is the rheumatoid arthritis and the other one is psoriatic arthritis and also the other autoimmune diseases so what is the future of golden bullet technology in the patient treatment as you can see uh, in the image given below so that's how the golden bullet technology is useful so a good quote to end today's video gold and nanotechnology in the age of innovation is gold for good so i hope this video was very much informative and uh, has uh, uh, made us all aware about how this gold and nanotechnology have been useful how they've replaced the traditional methods and curing cancer very much effectively with reducing the risk of the side effects for cancer patients and more power to all the cancer patients again and i hope you all like this video if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to receive all the notifications from amrita academy and until i see you guys in the next video this is amrita signing off bye guys